Hi, my name is Rob Paisley, and I'm an IBM Commerce Technical Specialist. Today I'm going to give an overview of how TeetLeaf works, why we are different, and how you can leverage it to improve the customer experience and drive click-through rates with the visibility that TeetLeaf provides. IBM is leading a marketing paradigm shift, whereby retailers no longer target product marketing segments, but instead target marketing and promotional efforts toward individual customers. It's important to understand your customers and how they transact with your company. You want to be able to monitor and improve their buying experiences and the overall customer journey. Let's pretend this is your website. A customer comes to transact with you and begins to interact with your site. What happens in the background when that occurs? First, an HTTP request is sent across the internet to your company's web server. TeaLeaf captures that request, and it includes things like the HTTP post, metadata, tags, page load times, and other timing information. Once the web server receives the request, there's a whole complicated background architecture to fulfill that request. Maybe you have an application server or a load balancer. Maybe there's a database or an ERP system on the back end that contains pricing information and product data. Perhaps there's a content accelerator or a storage cache. Once these background processes are complete, the data is packaged into a response and sent back to the end user. We also capture that response, which contains a record of all the background transactions that just took place. It also has the generated HTML served back to the user, any errors or browser data, and most importantly, your dynamic page calls like AJAX, XML, Flash, iframes, HTML5, etc. As the internet and web applications continue to evolve, they are trending in the direction of single-page applications. I'm sure you've heard of service-oriented architecture. Well, the future of websites and applications is not to refresh the page every time the user interacts with something or to change the URL. Rich, dynamic customer experiences present a new and interesting problem for traditional web analytics. Most web analytics products have trouble collecting data from these types of dynamic events. So in a world where your search might be provided by a third-party search engine, your results might come from an ERP or a database, and the rest of the page might be loaded from a local cache or content accelerator, the point is that the data is not all served up from the same place, and the response is not necessarily coming from its origin on your web server. This is where TeaLeaf really shines in collecting a full audit trail of the customer experience, every click, typing, forms, gestures, and mouse hovers. You don't have to configure ahead of time what data you want TeaLeaf to capture. It's just going to capture everything from the moment a user first interacts with your site. So how can this information help us? Well, the first way you can leverage TeaLeaf is in your quality assurance and development areas. Capturing all of this information about customers' behavior on your site is useful for improving the customer experience overall and for improving your own efficiency for your maintenance of code. For example, let's say there's two buttons on your site and everyone clicks on one but not the other. Maybe there's something wrong with one of the buttons. Maybe the content is unnecessary or redundant. Maybe users aren't able to see the button because of its size or where it's located on the page. If each button costs $5 a month to maintain, wouldn't you like to have this kind of insight and information to prioritize your future development budget? So the next way TeaLeaf sets itself apart from traditional web analytics is through its ability to understand that a sales cycle is more than likely a multi-step process. People do not always go to a website and transact immediately. They might search and get distracted or take a break for a while. Customers searching for airline tickets or shopping deals might search for hours or days or even weeks before they actually choose a product to purchase. TeaLeaf recognizes this and treats these longer sales cycles as only one potential conversion or click-through, rather than several, which keeps your reports from getting inflated. Let's say I go to your site to buy a widget. On Monday I search, but I can't find what I'm looking for. Tuesday I try again, during my lunch break, and I find a few things that might work, but I need to do a little more research. Maybe I'll go to the store and check it out in person before I decide. Now it's the weekend, Saturday. Okay, I'm ready to buy. I know what I'm looking for, I search for it by name, I add it to my cart, and I go to check out. Uh-oh, I get an error message. Let's freeze at this point and examine the customer journey thus far. We have a multi-step sales cycle, that proceeded to the checkout page. There's a few ways that things could go from here. Let's examine each situation and compare how they're handled today versus how they could be handled tomorrow with tea leaf adding its insight over your shoulder. Most people will just give up and try another time or another website. 
They close the browser, abandon their cart, they're gone forever. Today, most companies don't do anything when this happens. They just lament, try to fix the error, and prevent it in the future. Other customers, they might persevere. They're like me. I don't take no for an answer. I'm going to refresh that page 17 times. I'm going to change browsers. I'm going to switch to my phone. And eventually, I get to make the purchase. With traditional web analytics reports, this is viewed as a success because the sales conversion succeeded. And so the report doesn't necessarily indicate that there's a potential underlying problem unless you're specifically looking for that error. Even if you found it, you wouldn't have an accurate measurement of which users were actually affected and which ones caused lost conversions and which ones didn't. I view this situation as a customer service failure, and Tealeaf is able to, to detect abnormal or repetitive user behavior to identify problems with the site. Finally, some users will take the time to call the help desk, describe their problem, recreate the steps with a call agent to reproduce the problem, and then the agent reads to them from a script until they hopefully solve the issue. With Tealeaf, you can enable your help desk to better understand what happened during the caller's web experience and speed up the troubleshooting process. Let's dig a little deeper on these three journey endings to see how Tea Leaf can help you tackle all these scenarios. When Tea Leaf detects a certain number of errors, an alert is triggered and sent to your development IT and QA teams. They generate a report for their bosses that says sales are down by 17%, for example. All web analytics tools can give you this kind of report, but only Tea Leaf can explain why it happened. The reports show a snapshot in time. This is what's happening right now, but they don't explain why it happened. By providing a link at the bottom of each report, you can open up a Tea Leaf Replay dashboard. From this dashboard, you can watch pre-recorded video replays of every single customer that interacted on your site, as if it were a YouTube video. Uh, we generate this from the HTML response and request that I talked about earlier. Your marketing department is the second place where we can leverage Tea Leaf to improve sales and the overall customer experience. For the people who abandon their carts, Tea Leaf can create a list of who those customers were. As long as they logged in or provided any piece of identifying information along the way, we'll be able to identify who was affected by the error so that we can give the list to your marketing department and they can remarket to those customers and try and recapture those lost sales conversions. Maybe you send them an email or a coupon. We're sorry you had a bad experience, but the problem is fixed now. Please come back and visit us again. These customers are low-hanging fruit. They already had their wallets out, their money was on the table, they were ready to buy, and the error interrupted the sales experience. We need to recapture them before they disappear forever. For those who persevered, we want to know who they are too, so we can target them with customer loyalty promotions, and maybe reach out and send them a thank you note or a coupon once in a while. And we also want to know who came back to the site a few days later and tried to transact again. This is all important insight for our marketing department. Finally, the last area we, where you can really leverage Tea Leaf is the call center. So Forrester recently came out with a study that proves IBM Tea Leaf customers who implement video replay in their call centers will reduce call times by a minimum of 50%, and that's a conservative number. That's a lot of money on the table and a lot of time savings we're talking about. Imagine yourself as a customer. Wouldn't it be great if you could call up and they could see what happened to you on their site without you having to explain anything? Just give them your name and a replay pops up on the agent's screen and you're off in troubleshooting. The final point I want to cover that really sets Tea Leaf apart from any other product out there is its ability to identify the most profitable path a customer can take during their journey through your sales funnel. So for retail, most sales are made by live sales associates. And when customers buy things online, they don't buy as much as when they're talking to a human in the store or on the phone. So in the case of this error message, we can turn this negative into a positive. We could potentially transform this into a larger sales opportunity, which is ridiculous when you think about it, but it kind of makes sense. We can get these people in front of a call center agent to try and do an upsell. We can fix their perception by solving the problem, and they leave a happy customer who transacted instead of an unhappy customer who didn't get what they originally wanted to buy. So how could we drive more customers to the call center in a situation like this one? Maybe we start by adding the phone number to the error message so that it's easier for customers to contact us. To summarize what we've just discussed, IBM Tea Leaf was able to see a customer coming to the site on multiple days as one long buying cycle with multiple steps in the process instead of multiple buying cycles. 
the customer had a poor experience on the site due to an error, an alert was generated, and no matter what the customer did next, we have a solid plan for how we're going to rectify the situation and retarget that customer. Additionally, we can quantify and measure the impact of that error message that it had on our bottom line. How many users were affected? Is it still going on? And if so, what can we do to fix it? Thank you for your time, and feel free to reach out to me with any additional comments, questions, or concerns.